wow 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 this is amazing this is amazing this is amazing this is amazing hello everyone welcome 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 to this awesome moment i just want to seize this time to say thank you for coming online um usually when i do this i don't expect everyone to be online by this time of the night but i always um go live when you come later you can join the live you can join the broadcast and um share subscribe like and drop your comments and you can be part of it yeah but i always like to go live at this time of the night because that's when i feel most convenient yeah so i am also watching for my other device yeah 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 i always like it because it's very convenient very very convenient i like it because um it suits my timing and it gives me the opportunity to finish everything i want to do before i go live so this is a great time guys let's roll thank you everyone for coming online today i want you to share this broadcast and those of you that will join later, share this broadcast, share it. Um, always after this session, um, we always cut this content into shots from into YouTube shots, TikTok shots, reels, TikTok reels, um, Instagram reels, and uh, Facebook reels. Also, we cut them into short clips and we put them on those. Um, platform so um, everything we are doing right now is live but on those platform it will be playback and you can always go to those platform and get the key points so whatever you miss here you always get it in the week so I want you to sit back relax and enjoy this moment because I am here because of you yeah and I want to thank you for coming online for taking your precious time to join me those of you that are online already and those of you that will be joining later i also want to appreciate you for also doing that all right let's roll let's roll let's roll let's roll it's time to roll it's time to roll All right, so welcome everyone. My name is PM Rock. As I told you, my other device is right here. Yeah, it's my my new baby. Yeah, so I am also watching like you. Yeah, and I want to also enjoy the moment. All right, so let's roll. Thank you for coming online. Thank you for for joining me today. I won't take this for granted. I want to appreciate you for really, really taking your time, your precious time to come on live. Thank you, everyone that are there already. And those of you that are not there, after this live, I'm going to share. But for now, I want to quickly go into the content for today because there's a lot. There's a lot. If you went through the content last week, through my channel last week you would have heard what i talk about relationship last week we dealt with relationship matters episode two we started with episode one episode two and three today we're dealing with episode three and i did say to you that today we'll go into a lot of details so without further ado let's roll let's roll you see this is where the intro comes in flash and comes back to me so thank you welcome back and thank you for join me joining me online and today i want to start by talking about a woman <laughs> today i'm starting by talking about a woman so i want to start with the first key point a woman is a central unit or component she is like a bank so a woman is a central unit like a component or like an office she is like a bank where other draw source, where other take from. So a woman is like a central unit that others take from. So in a family, the woman is 
at the center of the entire activity of the family. Both the spouse, the husband, and the children, they all, and whoever is under that umbrella, they all take from her. They take joy, they take happiness, they take peace, they take everything. They take everything. So a woman is a central unit and she distributes. So she distributes everything that she has. Remember, I told you last week that a woman is a collector, a man is a giver. Now, when you give to, to the woman, you give your money, your finance to the woman, you give your strength to the woman, you give wisdom to the woman, you give understanding to the woman, you know, you give knowledge to the woman, you give principles to the woman. She collects them and perfects them and she begins to distribute it to the family. Yeah. So that is why I said a woman is a central unit or like a component, she is like a bank that distributes to every part of the family. When you have that kind of woman in your house, I'm telling you, you're not going to stress, you're not going to worry because you will never, never lack. She collects, she keeps, and she spreads. I'm not going to spend too much of your time today. I'm hitting straight to the nail, the nail at the head, going straight to the point. Secondly, for today, a woman is an anxious spender. You see, I'm, I'm taking my words slow because I want us to follow a woman is an anxious spender. A woman is an anxious spender. So the woman is a bit eager to spend. A man, so a woman is an anxious spender. She craves to spend. <laughs> a man is a boastful spender. So a woman is an anxious spender. She is, you see, the thing, the difference between a woman and a man is a woman wants to shop. She wants to spend. She wants to buy this. She wants to buy that. She all have it figured out in her mind. She wants to go to the mall. She wants to buy these groceries. She wants to buy this. She wants to buy that. Her mind is occupied with what and what and what she wants to buy every day to make her family great. So she's so occupied with I need to buy this, I need to buy that, I need to buy this, I need to buy that, just to make a family great. And that is why I said a woman is an anxious spender. A woman is an anxious spender. A man is a boastful spender. Now, when a man wants to spend, a man wants to spend in a boastful way. A man wants to buy his car and he wants to drive around. A man wants to do things and he wants to be noticed. That is a man. So a man wants to spend and he wants to spend to elevate his ego. His ego. Is it ego they call it? Yeah, his ego. He wants to pull his shoulder up. He wants to spend in such a way that everybody's going to know, yeah, this is PM Rock. But when you talk about a woman, a woman is an anxious spender. She's anxious. She has this eagerness in her mind to want to take care of her home, to want to make sure her home is okay. So she all, she, her mind is occupied with the plans of, I want to buy this. I want to do this. I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to do that. So the, as soon as money comes in, power she spends as soon as money comes in she spends as soon as money comes in she spends as soon as money comes she spends so in in the long run we we concluded we started saying women love money too much women like to shop women like to spend but when you look at the real nitty-gritty of the detail of how a woman spend you discover that a woman is actually occupied with the care of a family of her home that's what makes her an anxious spender. But for the man, a lot of men, not all men because I'm not one of them and probably you are not one of them. And if you are one of them, please work on yourself. A man is a boastful spender that wants to spend to boost his pride. He wants to spend to boost his pride. And at the end of the day, he wants to spend because he wants to open his mouth and start saying, yes, I have done this, I have done that. You know, he wants to have all the titles and all the name. 
that's the difference with the two so please when when you are talking about the spending of a woman remember that the woman is anxious to take care of her home to guide her home to make sure that her home is okay it's different from you as a man and that is the reason why you as a man must make sure that your money go to the central bank which is the woman then from there she spreads back to the family then I'm telling you, you enjoy your home. Some of you might not agree with me because you have a different view of relationship, of life and finance in the home. But let me tell you the truth. If you, the money in your home is not coming from a central point and from a central post, your home is in trouble. Because at the end of the day, the woman will spend, you don't know how the money goes. The man will spend, the woman does not know how the money goes. The woman thinks the man has the money and comes to the man over and over and you can't give to her. And she concludes, my husband does not want to give to me. Yeah. So guys, you must realize that and learn to work accordingly. Three, when you understand that you have a craving of spending, then you must learn how to control it. This is the only part that I need to talk to the women. This is the only part that I need to talk to the ladies or to my aunties or to my mothers and to the grandmas. This is the area I need to talk to you. When you know that you have that, have that anxiety and that craving to take care of your home, to spend, to go, to buy, to do this, I understand. I agree with you. Yes, you need to take care of your home. You need to look after your home. You need to make sure your home is okay. Your home is doing well. You need to make sure that your home is excellent. I understand those desires and those, those cravings of your heart. Yes, but I want to say to you, take it easy and spend wisely. Control it. Control it. Because not all the craving that brings positive results in your home. Sometimes you go, you go out of your way and go to do things for your home and you come back and your husband, you just throw it, throw it aside like nothing happened in the home. And you get offended like, I'm trying all my possible best to just make sure that my home is okay. And, this, and my, my husband or my spouse or my, my man is not understanding. Yeah, just take it easy. So it's okay. It's okay to have those cravings especially when it's to take care of your home, not to go and spend lavishly. I'm not talking about those women that goes out to go and drink and waste their time or those ones that hang out with friends and want to show their friends who is wearing the best clothes. Those are not the category of women I'm talking of. I'm talking of women that are dedicated to their home, women that are sold out to their home, women that have made up their heart and said, my home must be the best. I'm talking about women that I call special. I call a rare. I call one in a million. I call them stars. I call them you know, rose flowers. I call them beauty. Those are the kind of women I'm talking about. So if you are in the class of all those women that spend your life on going to drink, hanging out with friends, trying to do this, or or you spend all your money and you just want everybody to, every lady to know that, yes, you are the hottest chicken. You see, you are wasting your time. You are just running around nothing. You will end up at the end of the day regretting every step you have taken. Why? Because those things give you no result, but they waste your time. So I'm talking about women that are responsible. And if you're not a responsible woman, please, I encourage you to join the queue. Because responsible women are the stars. Number four, I'm going to talk about four things. This is my fourth point. But in my fourth point, I'm going to talk about four things that makes you a superwoman. Four things that make you a superwoman. And four things you must make part of your life. So these four things make you a superwoman. And those four points I'm going to give you right now, they will make you, they, I want you to make them part of your life. So I'm giving you four points that can make you a superwoman. And those four points make them part of your life. Practice them every day and you become very good with it. Yeah. One, evaluate before you spend. Evaluate before you spend. 
one of the one of the problem of of this our generation and one of the problem of the way we rush to do things and this fast lane generation is that we actually do things before we evaluate so a woman goes to the to the shop finish buying everything come back home to realize that oh i needed this and i needed that and i needed that i didn't buy it why because she went and buy before she evaluates. Evaluate before you go to buy. So sit back and make and, and, and reason within yourself what and what do I need to buy. That will help you to control the money that comes into your home, that comes into your bosom as a woman, as the central unit of the home. That will help you to control that money. Then you will spend rightly when you evaluate before you spend. So you sit down and say, no, I have this, I have that, I have that. It's enough for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, so I don't need to buy this anymore. You see, some women can go to the market and they buy the same thing of different kind. Like, for example, they go to the market, they buy spaghetti, they buy macaroni, they buy indomie uh, noodles, they buy noodles, they buy... Um, which other one again? Um, there's one other one like I like the name very well. You know, it wants to sound like a Pakistan name. You know, they buy all those things. Those are the same thing. If you are buying the macaroni, you are buying the noodles, you are buying the spaghetti, and you are buying the pasta. Yeah, pasta is the one I was talking about. You are buying the pasta, and you buy all those things. You bring them back, and now you cook. You cook. You now you are you are already frustrated. You are already strapped. It's like you are eating the same thing. But if you sit down and evaluate before you move out, you will buy and you spread your spending. You buy what is very relevant. At the end of the day, your family will eat very healthy. I, I get surprised when I see a lot of women stranded of what next to cook when there are so many innovations. See, YouTube make life easy. You go to YouTube, you see, you can learn delicacies from different parts of the world, from different countries, how they cook their cuisines, and you can make your home great. No, don't stay around rice only. Rice, rice, macaroni, rice, macaroni. No, life is more nicer than rice, macaroni. But rice and macaroni is nice. Oh, please, I love macaroni and mints. Yeah, and also my mama cooks it for me and it's always amazing. Yeah, and my baby cook it too. So I'm not alone. <laughs> All right, so evaluate before you spend. Very important. Secondly, Check your financial capability before you spend. So you evaluate what you want to buy. You evaluate your moves. You evaluate your action before you spend. Then secondly, check your financial capability. Somebody has 500 rand is going to buy meat of 400 rand. That person is not just crazy, but the craziness needs deliverance. You cannot have 200 rand and you're going to buy meat of 180 rand and your family is left with 20 rand. You are not yet a mother, you are a girl. So you must take yourself from the class of a mother, uh, of a girl or a girlfriend and break, take yourself into the class of a wife or a mother. You cannot have 1,000 rands and you spend 900 and you are left with 100 rand. No, that is a very wrong way of living. Your family will always stress. Your family will always look like a family that do not have when they have more than enough to take care of their welfare and to take care of their entire being. So I want to encourage you as women, please, please, this is very vital. Very, 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 very vital. Check your financial capability. Check the financial capability of your family before you decide to go make a move. It will help you. It will free you from stress and it will help your family as well. And number three, spend like a businesswoman. I love this one. Spend like a businesswoman. Don't just spend. No, spend like a businesswoman. Have the mindset of a businesswoman. Create a capital. Create a miscellaneous. And create a profit. 
So you spend like a businesswoman and in your spending, out of whatever money is in your family. So let's assume that you are a family that earns 30000 every month from your side as the woman and from the side of your spouse and everything comes together, put together, comes as 30000 Now, when you take out for those of you that love tight, me, I love tight. So those of you that don't like tight, I use a bill. You pray everybody has their own understanding. If your understanding is keeping you, enjoy it. If it's not keeping you, take the one that is best for you. So all I'm saying and what I'm saying, I'm not saying you must walk by these principles, but these principles, they will work for you if you work with it. You know, so when you have that money, you take out your 10% out of it. You keep it aside. Those 10% I dedicated, it's not mine. I dedicate it to the God I serve, to the God of the universe, to my father. I dedicate that, um, that money. Now you are left with 27,000 out of your 30,000. In your 27,000, you don't just stand up and just go to the shop and start buying. First of all, create what you call you create three things. You create your capital, you create your miscellaneous, and you create your profit out of it. Now you remove a certain amount, you create you break those money into three structures, then you remove a certain amount that you spend for your family you remove a little amount that you will keep for in case miscellaneous in case of there's any further need or in case of there are other little things because sometimes you can go to the market you buy everything you need in your house you come back you say oh i am okay i've bought everything i need i don't need anything further but at the end of the day you will just discover that you don't have salt as simple as s-a-l-t is you don't have it or you just discover that the spice that you actually thought is remaining is a lot is actually finished then you have to go back and buy this that, that those spice or buy the salt now that miscellaneous in case of in case city savings you go there and you take you go there you take then you create a profit your expenditure you can it's your profit, but you don't eat the capital. So let's say you have, let's use 10,000 as a perfect example to what I'm saying. Now you have 10,000. In your 10,000, you first of all take out 4,000. This is my capital. You keep it, you don't touch it. You take 2,000, you say this is the miscellaneous in case of in case it. You keep it, you don't touch it. Then you carry 4,000, you say this is my profit. You spend it. So out of your profit, you do whatever you want to do. You buy whatever you need to buy. Now, if you know that all you have is 4,000, Definitely, you will change your priorities. You will change the way you spend. You will change all your flashy desires. You will change everything. You will keep some for later. You're not just going to wake up and, and want to just spend and buy everything. No, you're going to postpone it for later. Why? Because you know that you only have 4000 to spend. Then when the need arises, and you know that that is very pressing, you can go into your 2000 little by little and if your 2000 does not finish it can spill over to the next month and spill over to the next month but your capital you don't touch now when you practice this principle give yourself 10 years later go back to your capital you discover that you have enough to plan a beautiful business or a beautiful holiday or a beautiful outing or a beautiful whatever you desire, you have enough. So remember, you have your capital, you have your in case of in case it, your miscellaneous, and you have your profit. Spend your profit, keep your in case of in case it, your miscellaneous aside that you touch a little bit and don't touch your capital. That is how you can make your family a beautiful place. Let me jump the fourth one. I will talk about the fourth one in my next 
in the next subsequent videos that I'll be releasing. Let me talk about four reasons why some marriage fail. Four reasons why some marriage fail. I will talk about this and we'll end it. We'll call it a wrap this night. Four reasons why some marriage fail. Reason one, do not spend your capital. You will ruin your marriage. Do not spend your capital because you will ruin your marriage. Any marriage that does not have a capital base, money kept aside, that marriage is like a is like is like a plate on a on a waving ocean. The plate can go, it can stay on the ocean. If the ocean goes like this, the plate is on the ocean, it goes woo, it goes woo, it goes woo. But just give it a few minutes, it will sink. It will definitely sink. But a marriage that has capital is like a dry wood on a floating ocean. No matter how the ocean dance, that wood will just be going pure. Oh, 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 oh. It will just be floating. It will just be floating. Do not spend your capital. If not, you will ruin your marriage. Remember, I said the woman is the central like a bank, she is the central distributing point. So if the, all the money come to the woman and she spend everything, she is putting her home into trouble, into deep trouble. And if you are one of those that practice that, please, I beg you tonight, I beg you today, I beg you this minute, this hour, stop it. Because you are putting your home into dilemma. Number two, talking about Four reasons why some marriage, some homes, some relationship fail. Number two, make a list of what is more important. Make a list of what is more important in your home to buy before you buy. You know, the first time I talked about making a list, evaluate, I talk about evaluate. Now, I'm going further from saying you, do, you don't just evaluate. Actually, make a list. Make a list of what you want to buy before you go out there and buy. And when you are making your list, make a list and tick, blue tick, or whatever tick you want to tick, the ones that are most important and mostly needed. Don't say, no, all of them are important. My home cannot do without it. There are some things your home can survive with. And there are some home your there are some things your home cannot survive with without. So make a list and take those things that you know they are most important in your home, achieve them, and those other ones that you know that they are not the priority. You can do them later as more money comes in or as you get as the day goes by. That is how to save. That is how to minimize, and that is how to curtail your spending. Three, if the guy do not allow the woman to have access to his money, then that home will be in big trouble. If the guy does not allow the woman to have access to his money, you see that home, every time she will always come to him, please give me, I don't have, give me, I don't have. Then it will become a home where the woman is always asking and the man is always not having. Then she will conclude, my husband or my spouse or my man or my whoever does not want to give to me. Meanwhile, the guy might, genuinely, might be honest in saying he doesn't have. But the woman is not going to understand because she has no clue and she does not know have an understanding of how his money flows. She does not know how much he earns or how much he gets. She does not know. She does not have an idea of how much he has. So she will continue to frustrate herself and frustrate the guy, or the man, or a man, or a sweetheart, or a honey, or a baby. So you call you call your spouse, hey baby. Yeah, you you, you keep frustrating your baby. Some used to call their woman, hey, sugar, sugar, honey, 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 hey, meat pie, hey, chocolate, banana, anything you like, you call is fine. But as a man, open up. First of all, build trust in your woman if you know there is no trust in your relationship. Build trust in her. Build trust in her. Do not engage in a relationship that has no trust. 
you will be kill, killing and crucifying yourself. So build trust into your relationship. Build the woman that can trust you and trust her as well. So when you entrust your money into her hand, you know that your money is kept and is safe. She's not going to jump and rush into one shop and go and buy one shoe to flaunt to everyone. No. And she's not going to go to, into the shop and buy 40 kg of rice and come back and there's nothing else to eat. Then the family keep eating rice, rice, rice till they become rice. Say so the, the son is rice. The girl is rice. Brother rice, sister rice, mommy rice, papa rice. You know? So guys, please learn to trust your woman and learn to entrust your money to her hand. Some guys, see, a lot of men will never agree with me. They'll say, mm, what? What? Hi, my woman. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. My woman see money, she will scatter the world. No. Teach her to use money. She will not scatter the world. Teach her. If you start from the foundation, from the beginning of your relationship, you would have been excellent with it. And if you miss the beginning of your relationship, you can start now. Sit her back and tell her, see, I want to start a new chapter. I want to start this thing afresh. I want to entrust you with my finance. This is how we're going to do it. We'll start like this. We'll start like this. You take it one step at a time. And in a short time, you will get there. And lastly, the fourth one, women spend wisely spend wisely spend wisely remember a woman is an entity of love when god was speaking to the man he said love your wife he did not tell the woman to love her husband because he knows that the woman she is a bundle of love already he knows that the woman loves but for men he tell the man love your wife because he know that a man can lack love a man, when a man talk about love, a man talk about spending. A man talk about, I am the man. When the man wants to say, I love you, my lady, or I love you, my, ba my baby, or I love you, my woman, excuse me, he takes her to the shop and he wants to go and buy her something or buy a gift and say, take my baby. That's for a man. But a woman, she is always loving. Because she wakes up every morning and look for what her family will eat. She wakes up every day, think of what she can buy, think of what, how she can load her home with more than enough food because she does not want any single one in that home to go hungry. That is love already. So a woman is a bundle, a mix, a bundle, an entity. She is a complete definition of love already. But women spend wisely. Don't allow that love and that passion of care for your family make you become a wrong on an unwise spender. Rather, allow it to make you a wise spender. You spend wise, you don't spend wrongly. The love of your home should lead you and help you to spend wisely by making a list of what you want to buy and what you want to spend for. Make priority in your list before you go out to spend evaluate and this is a bonus for you you must understand that your home is your home your home is not a, a mirror of another home your home is your home your home is a standard of your home so please i want to advise you women and this is general for both the, the women and the men both the both side of the spouses this is an advice for you don't make your home a mirror of another home your home is an home of itself so learn and build your home from what you have don't look at somebody else's home to build your own home don't look at somebody else's life to build your own life don't look at somebody else's progress to build your own progress and say ah see how pm is progressing i have to i have to do something now you want to go and start doing you start struggling you start struggling you go out of your way go out of your area of perfection and you go to other areas and you begin to struggle why because you are looking at the success of others you are looking at the achievement of others and you are making it a body for yourself no be in competition with yourself your family is yours be in competition with itself not with another family let the other family bry every weekend bry every day it doesn't matter enjoy the smell of the briar and say oh bring it bring it on 
bring it on. Oh, bri, bring it on, bring it on. Enjoy the smell of the bri. It doesn't mean you must bri. Say, oh, they bri every weekend. We too must bri. So when they are doing, they are fire. You too, you are doing. Your everybody is busy with their fire. So when you do, your neighbor bri uh, scent is hitting at you, your own scent is hitting back. No. You are the competition of yourself. Focus on yourself. Focus on your family. And spend wisely. Remember, this is very vital. If this is all you get, you 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 absorb tonight. If this all this if this is all you understand tonight, I will be very grateful. And if this is all you've understood so far, I will be very grateful that your money must be shared in two categories: your capital, your miscellaneous, and your profits. Remember, your capital you don't touch, you keep aside. Your miscellaneous you only use when there's an urgency for little things. And your profit you spend for the month. That is how you build a very beautiful home. A home that does not lack, does not beg. And a home that lives and survives by itself under the hands of the Almighty. Guys, it's been a privilege speaking to you. It's been a privilege sitting down here and talking to you this evening. And for every one of you that is online, I want to say to you, I am really, 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 really grateful. Thank you for the comments. There are a lot, a lot of comments. There are so many hearts. I really appreciate it. Thank you, love, for your awesome support and comments. It's always come true. Mr. Williams is online. Wow. Good evening to you, sir, as well. Thank you for coming online. I appreciate you. You are one man I respect and I honor so much. Your calmness, you know, is an encouragement to you, to me. And also, your presence always makes me smile. Thank you. God bless you so much. Um, thank you, my wonderful mommy. I, I, I really, really thank God for your life. You are one of a kind. A mother that always supports the son no matter what. You can hardly find those kind of mothers. I want you to know that I so much love you. And you are wonderful and amazing. The best ever. You know, and I'm grateful to God for giving you to me. Thank you so much. And your comments are amazing. You know, mommy wrote here, she said, control your spending urge. Oh my God. <laughs> you see, she, she redefined it and made it simple. She said, control your spending urge. Control your spending urge. That is very important. Care for your family. A mother cares for her family. And as much as you care for your family mothers, care for your family, but spend wisely. Evaluate. Make a list. Take the priorities before you execute. And I'm telling you, your family will always be wise. Your family will always be rich. Your family will always be smiling. Thank you for the smile, mom. Thank you for the heart, baby girl. You are so wonderful. You know, there are some women that when you see me speak like this with such a ease, very comfortable and very relaxed, you must know that I am not alone. I am backed up by a very powerful, powerful, when I mean powerful, oh my God. You see, it's like when the president is coming, you can wait 30 minutes, the president has not arrived. You see different kind of cars, different kind of security, different kind of armories passing you see different kind of weapons they are telling you that do not dm you i am well loaded those that are with me <laughs> are more than those are against me that is what i have i am a blessed man with a blessed woman and i'm very happy i'm very satisfied so guys i want to encourage you make your woman the central source the central bank of your home and let all the finance, finance of the home be controlled by the woman. You will enjoy your home. You agree with me, you don't agree with me. The truth is the truth. It can't be changed. Your woman does not know how to manage money. Train her how to manage money. Teach her how to manage money. Yeah. So thank you, Mr. Williams. Thank you, my lovely baby. Nikki Moboruko. Thank you, Lindy. 
my wonderful mama. These two people I don't play with. My wonderful darling, I don't play with. Thank you so much. I appreciate you for your comments. May the Lord bless you, keep you, and shine his light upon you. Guys, just one word. Learn to pray for your family. A man is the soldier of the house. The woman is not a soldier. The woman is man managing. She's legislating. She's taking care of the home. Guys, learn to be the soldier in your home. And when I say the soldier, I'm not talking of the soldier inside the house. The soldier at the gate of the house. Fight for your family. Defend your family. Be a man in your house. Because a man is a vessel of control and power. Guys, I will see you next week. Next week will be very glorious. It will be very amazing. I want to work on my timing. I will come live earlier than I used to. So where I am broadcasting from right now, I will begin to do my live 6 p.m. And wherever from the world you are watching, you will enjoy it. If it's afternoon, if it's night, whatever, enjoy it and share the broadcast. And the Lord will bless you. Let me preach. Let me preach. The Lord will bless you. Hallelujah. <laughs> this one is for family. Sorry. All right. Thank you so much, Mommy. Have a wonderful night. Thank you, love. Have a wonderful night, Mr. Williams. Have a wonderful night, everyone online. Have a wonderful night. Thank you, guys. And see you next week. And for now is bye-bye. My name remains PM Rock. Please subscribe if you've not subscribed to this channel. Share this content to whoever and wherever. You don't know whose life you will be changing and touching. And make sure everyone gets to hear my cool, calm voice. Because this is the voice for the family. Good night and enjoy. Bye-bye. It's a beautiful night and I know that everything will be okay and I know that everything will be alright cause God gets your back. See you guys. I'm